Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. So we're a hair specialist and we uh, help you out with hair loss, hair thinning and scalp conditions. Today we want to talk to you about autoimmune. So 15 years ago, I would see probably one or two autoimmune conditions, probably particularly alopecia areata per year. And now I'm seeing at least two a week. So I think it's valid to have a bit of a conversation about autoimmune. So what is autoimmune? So autoimmune is when the immune system is overactive or underactive and the result is the body creating antibodies and attacking otherwise healthy cells. So for alopecia areata, it is it's attacking the actual um, hair follicles. Okay, so these days there's more than 80 uh, autoimmune diseases. One, as we said, the alopecia areata. For the scalp, there's psoriasis, seborrhea dermatitis and we've got this terrible frontal fibrosing alopecia which is a type of scarring that um, is uh, making the hair thin and recede all the way back can be um, misdiagnosed as female pattern thinning. Um, there's also type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, um, the multiple sclerosis is one, I come across systemic lupus erythematosus. A lot of these also affect hair loss as a secondary thing and then the alopecia areata can come in. There's also inflammatory bowel disease such as your Crohn's disease and your ulcerative um, colitis uh, and Hashimoto's thyroiditis and celiac disease, um, asthma, sinusitis and tonsillitis. So all of those things if they are in your family lead you to a genetic tendency of autoimmune. But autoimmune is on the increase because of environmental factors. Okay, So these um, include but are not limited to the chemicals that we're exposed to, toxins, pesticides, fertilizers, a genetically modified organism and our food. So the particular ones in our food are the gluten, the dairy um, and the sugar. So when it comes to autoimmune hair loss and scalp problems, um, they're generally caused by a trigger that we can find in your story so when we're consulting we can generally find something that happened and I'm finding it's also associated with other deficiencies that relate to lowered immunity and these include iron, ferritin, um, B12, uh, particularly vitamin D uh, as well. So it can be difficult to get a proper diagnosis um, medically because they look at the values of the blood test and say you're in range but even low end for autoimmune is enough to trigger this autoimmune attack. So we wanted to share this with you because there is help. Um, a lot of the medical uh, will, t will go for autoimmune about um, suppressing the immune system, as in squashing it down, stopping the function. But there's mounting evidence that you can support the immune system, which is generally what we do here, is we help to rebuild the immune system, which can stop the attack and then we can go after hair growth or correcting the scalp condition as well. So there's always different options. Uh, if you've got any questions about autoimmune, alopecia, or the scalp conditions, or any questions about hair loss, hair thinning, uh, always please drop me an email. It's info at absolique.com.au.